So what is the best way to communicate uh, when you're late, either late delivering something or you're physically late some, uh, somewhere yourself? What's the best way of, of communicating that? Okay. So what people tend to do is that, that they're late for whatever reason. Uh, I don't want to go into, should you have been on time? Is it respectful? Could you have prevented that? You know, all those different things. Um, and I would say NLP and NLP-based coaching is ideal to work on these types of problems. Um, I also teach as part of the NLP training, personality typing uh, integrated with NLP that really will allow you to understand how your brain works and how your personality kind of, and your brain kind of may have this marriage that gives you some sense of why you are late and what's in, what's in your makeup that causes that. But also if you are someone who gets frustrated about all the people late, that helps you understand that better too and, 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 and create self-awareness and awareness of others. But anyway, how do you best communicate that you are late on a deliverable? What, what people tend to do is when they're delivering something late is, is to make excuses, uh, to go, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm late, I uh, didn't know this, or someone else, they may maybe blame others, blame self. So you start making excuses as to why it is you, you, you are being late or are, are late on your liver and, and why it rarely has the answer. In, in fact, a good co coach, a really good coach does not ask the question why, ever, ever. So that to me is always a good way of spotting when coaches go why, 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 that to me I can separate the professional coach from the coach that isn't a professional. They, they, they lean too much to the work. Why? And, and that's why it's important that coaches, and that's why it's important, coaches actually learn how to ask questions in a way that makes the unconscious conscious um, to create that epiphany. And that's something that we do inside our NLP training, uh, a whole model of how to ask questions in, in the right way to find out what is truly going on. And so the why doesn't help you here. What does help here in, in, okay, you say, I'm sorry, you make an apology, a well-meant apology. You must have an awareness that whatever you're about to say is going to make someone else feel something. So, you know, if you go, and because of this, blame self, blame other, it, it creates this feeling of that person is making excuses. That person may even be lying. Or, okay, great, late, right? What am I going to do with this? This is an empty apology, so to speak. Now, what you need to do is you need to pull it into specifics as to how you are going to be doing different in the future. Okay? So instead of going, why am I late? It's like, I am sorry, this deliverable um, was supposed to be here yesterday. Um, it, 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 I'm here one day late. I understand that. Uh, this impacts you negatively and you can even go into a, a few reasons as to what or who or how specifically it could affect the other person. You acknowledge their emotion that they may be having, their inconvenience, but then what you pull into specifics, uh, what specifically you are going to do next time. You know, so you could say, next time I commit to you to being a half a day early. Next time I commit to you or you know, you pull it into specific as to what contract you are signing for the next deliverable. Um, you can also start offering solutions in the moment that will mitigate or sort of help the other person overcome the obstacle that they are experiencing by being late. So you, in essence, rather than focusing on the past, why are you late? Why, 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 why? You know, why my bad childhood? <laughs> Uh, why am I this? Why am I that? The answers are never there to actually go from the present into the future. And, and that's way more useful, you know? And so that's a little NLP technique in, in terms of understanding um, how do you ask questions and how do you make the brain conscious and how do you wake the brain up? This is how you do that. And remember, you're always eliciting an emotional state of some kind. Hi from Mexico. Uh, we're onwards to the next trainings um, in Amsterdam, Los Angeles, and Bali. Um, so I hope to see you live in person or online. I'll see you around.